Good evening, and um, I'm going to be sharing tonight some uh, issues about the rapture, and uh, this is a topic that uh, is very controversial. There's people who just refuse to believe in the rapture, even though it's all clearly laid out in the scriptures, and uh, then there's people who believe in the rapture, but they they the timing of the rapture as far as when it takes place, there's a lot of controversy about that. So I want to share with you what I believe the scripture is very clear about and uh, the reasons that I believe, not only believe in the rapture, but I believe in the pre-trib rapture where the uh, where all true believers in the Messiah, the Mashiach, uh, those that are alive and those that have died before us, as the scripture says in the book of Thessalonians, that we will be called up to meet the Messiah, Yahusha, in the air, and so shall we ever be with Messiah and uh, that this will take place uh, before the tribulation period start and there's a number of reasons for this one in particular that we'll deal with in this segment is the fact is that the church has not been appointed to wrath the scripture is very clear that the and again when I use the word church uh, I know that's just an English word but the Hebrew word would be uh, kahel. And uh, this is the word the Messiah would have used in Matthew chapter 16. Um, and when he said that upon this rock, or upon this revelation, that he was going to build his church and the gates of hell would not prevail against it. The church began on the day of Pentecost or Shavuot. That's because that's when the Ruach, or the Spirit, was given, was imparted to mankind, and that's when the actual church began. Jew and Gentile uh, believers uh, would receive the promise of the Father, those that would believe on the Messiah, those that would recognize who He was, and put their faith and trust as Him as their Savior, those would be given the Ruach, the Spirit, and that's the beginning of the church. The church began on the day, like I said, on the day of Pentecost or Shavuot, when the, the Spirit was given at that time. Up until that time, no one uh, had, had been given the Spirit and the capacity that, that you and I, if you're a believer, have been given until that time that because the Messiah had not paid the price for your redemption yet. The penalty for our sins had not been paid and until that sacrifice had been paid, uh, the Ruach was not given to believers until that time. So, <clears throat> there's a lot of confusion about, that's one of the reasons why there is a lot of confusion, let me put it that way, in regard to the difference between the, what the, the scripture declares it's the church and, say, uh, the nation of Yasharel, or Israel, and how Yahuwah deals with different classes of people. It's quite clear in the scriptures if you only can recognize and understand this but uh, but going back to the fact is that the church has not been appointed to Yahuwah's wrath now the wrath that it's talking about is not eternal wrath the punishment for uh, that those that that, that will be given to unbelievers uh, that will be cast into the lake of fire that's an eternal punishment for their rejection of salvation and, but that's, not only have we been delivered from that, that wrath, but the wrath that the scripture is talking about, especially in uh, 1 Thessalonians and, and uh, chapter, in uh, 1 Thessalonians and 2 Thessalonians, where Paul makes reference to this fact that we've been delivered from the wrath to come. He's talking in particular about the wrath that's going to come upon the earth during the tribulation period. Now, it's referred to as the day of Yahuwah. In a number of places, and it's also referred to as the day of wrath, the day of Yahuwah's anger, where there's a time that's, that's about to take place, and I think it's very, very soon that we're about to see this. That's why I believe that the rapture could happen very soon, simply because the signs that we're seeing of the tribulation about on the horizon, and the rapture has to precede the tribulation period because. For, for, for a number of reasons, but one in particular that we're dealing with on this segment is that the church has not been appointed to Yahuwah's wrath that's about to come upon the earth. 
Now, there's no question about that these, these seven year, this time frame referred to, uh, actually the correct term would be the time of Jacob's trouble or Jacob's trouble or Israel's trouble. Um, it's also referred to as the uh, uh, Daniel's 70th week. But a lot of people re know of it as being referred to as the tribulation period. Why? Because it's going to be a time of tribulation that beyond any other time that's ever come upon the earth. And uh, because you and I have not been appointed to Yahuwah's wrath, that we've been obtained, we've been appointed to obtain salvation or deliverance, deliverance from that wrath that's that's to come, that's going to come upon the earth. That we have the promise of the Mashiach of the Messiah, that we would not have to experience that wrath. We'll pick this up on our next se uh, segment, so please join us again. And uh, thank you for uh, sharing this with your friends. I appreciate those that will take the time to do that. And uh, I look forward to our next session together. Shalom.